Hey guys, this is Jake going through the 10th video series on the iPad iPhone development, app development. And as you guys have seen in the last tutorial series, we're going through the display alerts. And what I mean by that is as you click a display alert or you implement a display alert, it gives you a few options. We put in a few parameters such as the title, text, and then we also gave some button options. And that's what we're working through right now is the button options. As you can see, we put in two additional button options, send to Facebook, send to Twitter as examples, and then also a dismiss, um, basically a cancel button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, where we're at now is uh, assigning those buttons values. And where that becomes important is right now the, the application doesn't know the difference between the send to Facebook, the send to Twitter, or the dismiss as far as what we want to do with the buttons in the future. So first we have to identify the value and that's what we're going to do today. So as we exit out of the uh, simulator there, we're going to go into the header, the dot h of our application there, and we're actually going to put in another view, view delegate. And this view delegate is going to be for the actual alert view. As you can see, just a simple UI alert view delegate. Um, for some reason, it's not picking up, and that's because I left this bracket up here. So delete the bracket up here, out of there, and insert UI alert view delegate with, again, a bracket, putting in I, all your IV outlets. All right, so then as we, uh, we enter that, we also have to modify some stuff within the method or the implementation here. And so we still have a bunch of stuff from our IB action calculates, uh, clear, synthesizing. And after the last one, the actual, the action of the button clicked where we put in the send to Facebook and the send to Twitter, we're just going to give it, give ourselves a little bit of space and we're going to put in a whole, a whole little section here, a little bit of a protocol and let me run through it, just paste that in there. Um, and this this is what gives us the method associated with the alert view. And basically what we're saying is, as the button's clicked, assign a value to it and uh, display it in our debugger. And with that, you can see click, clicked button, add index, we're giving a an integer button index, and then we want it to log itself according to the button index in our debugger. So with that we put in the uh, the header file that we're going to establish a UI alert view delegate and then this is where we're actually coding in putting a sign a value to it and then log it for us as well. So now what we're going to do is just run the application and see where we're at as far as that goes. Alright, as we load, hopefully we don't have any errors here. Alright, looks good. So we, uh, we can again put in some text there. As you display the alert, um, you'll see we nothing's changed except for the text that we put in there. And we're going to click send to Facebook. Now when we do that, you can see that in the debugger screen it's actually printing the value attached to the button. So in this case, the send to Facebook button is our value 1 and then if we do the same thing send to Twitter again value 2 and let's just see where the dismiss is dismiss is, is uh, printed as a value of 0 and so with those we now have identified which buttons have which values and then uh, you know in later tutorials we can actually assign those values and implement them to make them accomplish certain tasks according to their button values. So that's uh, that's kind of again some of the basics of the display alerts, adding buttons, assigning values, and identifying with those values to uh, help us progress to the next tutorial lesson. Alright guys, hopefully, uh, hopefully this is all making sense, hopefully we're not moving too fast, but uh, again subscribe, let us know what you guys want, what you guys are seeing out there that you want to do with your applications, and we'll run through some of the basics on those. Alright, peace out guys.